Hello and uh, welcome to the world of fingerprint cards. My name is Christian Fredriksson, I'm the CEO and I'm happy to be going through a little bit about the status of the company on our strategic priorities and of course a little bit facts on the company itself. So bear with me and uh, let's go forward. We have been, of course, in biometrics since 1997, so quite a while, and been part of driving a lot of innovation in this industry when it comes to biometrics. We do fingerprint sensors, the whole system, as well as IRIS, uh, where we do mainly the algorithms, algorithms and the software surrounding the camera and the solutions. I'm going to go on through uh, a little bit more on the company as well now. We created together with the start from the Apple, the actually when we got into the whole fingerprint sensor business in mobile, that is the core of our business being in mobile, of course. We have today delivered over 1.4 billion sensors and our consumers touch our sensors billions of times every day. We still continue to deliver over 1 million sensors every working day when it comes to the fingerprint area. So magnificent, uh, good volumes for us. We also deliver touchless solutions in the terms of iris into hospitals. We will start working in, uh, have been working quite a while in the automotive industry and of course into the access industry as well. We are the largest fingerprint sensor supplier also to the door lock market, which is part of for us in the access market. And if I look at the mobile, we are delivering to nine out of the 10 smartphone OEMs in the world. The only one we do not deliver to is Apple. Nine out of 10, and we have delivered over 545 mobile phones has been delivered globally with our sensors in it over this time. We also are, are now strongly getting into the PC market. It is a great market for us and it will grow substantially. And we have just announced uh, the latest uh, uh, PCs with Dell, LX with Xiaomi, and here you see many, many other names uh, that we have launched with so far with our sensors. And of course, not forgetting the fantastic uh, contactless market in payment industry. And I can say on payment industry that we don't have to wait no more. It has happened. Banks have launched, substantial banks have launched, and I'll talk about it soon, but the wait is over. The commercial launches have been done, and we are delivering on repetitive purchase orders in this industry. Of course, the speed of the industry relies now on getting, getting many things done when it comes to new banks launching. But at least, and finally, and fantastically, we are out in the market, which is beautiful to be in this new industry of ours. I have to also say that we are back to growth. It is very good. I'm very pleased for that. A lot of hard work from many people. And of course, tells, tells you also how our new legs are starting to grow for us as a company. It has been very nice to see back to growth for us. Of course, that's what we want as a company for, for our employees, for the consumers to get the services, and of course, for the shareholders also to bring more value for, for all of this company. Now, let me run through what we said last year uh, in 2020. We talked about what's going to happen in this industry of ours in the main four areas where we are. I can say now that we are back to growth. We are growing in all of our areas now, uh, all of these four areas, and we will get uh, now four legs for the company uh, going forward instead of only one, basically. And we can see this happening already when we get into next year. So there's a very positive momentum in all of our businesses, clearly now. If I look at the mobile, which is, of course, very well known, and, and uh, when we look forward, there will still be growth in the mobile, even if it is not that big. Uh, of course, when it comes to the global mobile phone sales, but it's still growing a bit with the GDP growth in the world and still some feature phones that needs to needs to get into smartphones and of course about 82 percent of mobile phones uh, have biometry in them so there's a little bit of growth there as well still going on 
So altogether, we expect about 1.4 billion units per year to be produced when you get to 2026 and beyond with a little bit of growth in this area as well. Now, PC market is, uh, is a fantastic market. And of course, with the home working, uh, this has actually grown already. Overall, the PC market is above 300 million units per year. And we expect a minimum two thirds, uh, which is actually then all, actually over 200 million units per year will have and uh, we'll have biometry in them. And this is a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic new market for us. Finally getting going, finally seeing the need and we are very happy consumers want this solution, uh, whether it's in a power button or, or wherever we put the fingerprint sensor now going forward in different form factors, building more security. This is a great pay place for us and it fits us very well. And uh, just a fantastic growth story for us going forward in PC, I'm absolutely pleased about that one and uh, this is of course wonderful too because we all absolutely hate typing our passwords on the PCs. I personally and we all of us in our company want to get rid of that, want you to get rid of that and enjoy just opening your PC easily, smoothly, safely and paying safely, identifying yourselves safely. Access market if I take to the right here is scattered but there are many great growth areas in this place, whether it's the door locks, whether it is USB dongles, whether it's scooters uh, with fingerprint sensors, and of course the access market itself. There are many sub-segments here. We will focus on a few of them, uh, but there is a lot of growth. Uh, and with access cards, you know, you pay, you touch a fingerprint on your access card, brings a lot of safety, smoothness, and contactless access with it as well and not to forget of course the biggest market that we see ahead of us is the payment markets with the payment uh, cards and uh, there's about six billion cards being uh, produced every year going forward here in payment industry and we expect uh, about half of them to have uh, biometric cards and now finally after such a long time the company was started on the belief and innovation idea that we will get fingerprint sensors to cards and now it is reality this year it happened this is the year when the wait is over i'm happy to say that and i'm happy that we are part of it so strongly once again chasing an industry and innovating in an industry now let me go through these four different areas a little bit shortly as well, right? So mobile devices, I'm not going to talk too much about, but still, of course, a fantastic market to be in, very competitive and an industry in high volume market and uh, still a lot to innovate in that space as well. PC, I talked about uh, access and IoT, I will discuss as well, and payments, of course, I will run through these strategic priorities for us, building four new legs for the company, and all of them are now in growth. Mobile. We have, as I said, 545 mobile devices launched without technology. Uh, 1.4 billion sensors, where well, a lot of it, of course, is from the mobile part. Our curved side mounted sensor is a fantastic key addition to our portfolio. It is very well received in the market, and I look forward to strong volumes in this one and continued strong sales for us. Design is and continues to be key in this industry foldable, full screen, 5G handsets, new sensor shapes and forms and factors with curved. Uh, there's a lot that we can do in this industry and we love bringing that to differentiate and for the OEMs to differentiate and for the consumers to enjoy safely using their phones. PC, yeah. What a, what a fantastic business, fantastic opportunity for us. We deliver now already to three out of the top five manufacturers in the world. And we just announced the Dell, uh, some of the PCs coming out with our solutions. Uh, we will, and we have assumed a strong position and we will continue getting into this market even more. It is growing very well. It is a nice place to be. And uh, we expect continued performance strongly in this segment. I am very pleased about this one and uh, we are of course happy to bring this to the consumers and the corporates in the world to make it easier and safer for them. There is an increasing interest in the biometric access and uh, uh, market as well as the IoT applications. This is of course a scattered market as I said it's in the hundreds of millions of units from 2026 and beyond actually 
uh, but you need to choose a bit which market you go to here. So we are in door locks, we will work with physical and logical access control, USB dongle, and there are many things in the wearables and various IoT applications. Uh, so basically everything that will carry electricity will also carry a chip and there is also in many places a need for some kind of identification and security because otherwise these will be open holes into networks and uh, safety is going to be needed there as well. This is a good segment and, and very interesting and, and uh, takes a lot of different innovation and form factors so you need to be fast and flexible and innovative in this segment as well. And then finally, biometric payment cards, uh, which we have, as I said, now entered the commercial phase. Uh, we have been certified by Visa and MasterCard of the Thales card. And, and that, of course, of course, has been a major milestone. We have four commercial launches so far, all with fingerprints technology. So four commercial launches, all with our technology. Corner Bank, BNB Paribas, Credit Agrigol, and now BBVA Mexico. And let me just point out, BNP Paribas is the biggest bank in Europe. It is the seventh largest bank in the world. Credit Agricole is the third largest bank in Europe and number 10 in the world. These are no small banks. This is major, major movement already. And France has always been a leading when it comes to launching new things in the card industry. And it is great to see once again that it's happening. And wonderful to be part of that with our sensor, together with our partners. BNB Parina's launch is a great success, as stated already in the press. And uh, it is fantastic to see the consumers want the product, they love the product, they want to use it. It is easy, fast, simple, safe. No cap, no pin. Doesn't get much better than that. Pay and enjoy. BNB Paribas is preparing to offer this now to all the customers in, the, uh, in terms of their branches in France and so will Credit Agricole as they have stated that they are starting now in this month in September to continue rolling out. BBA, BBA Mexico has just of course only launched with the biometric. This is a way for banks to differentiate and here you see of course uh, some of the ads that BNB Paribas has been running. Uh, beautiful to see. Uh, these products uh, getting into consumer hands, getting real feedback, lead life situation. And I think it is a major, major thing that over half of the respondents in a recent study say that they are willing to switch banks to get access to a biometric card. How pleased are we not of that? And it is great to see and we're very happy to be doing that as well in this industry. And um, just beautiful picture here, I have to admit, uh, to watch wonderful consumers using no pin code. Now, biometric payment cards is the, next is the next mass market for biometrics and it is wonderful to see this leg taking piece uh, finally getting ahead for us. As I said, the consumer feedback has been very favorable and uh, obviously the cards were offered to limit the number of customers and then you get to nationwide rollouts as, as is, which is now being planned and executed. It is interesting to see that the whole payment card ecosystem is moving towards biometric cards. And what we now need to do together in this industry is we know the performance is good. We know it works fast, smooth, every time, securely. It just works. It is wonderful to pay, wonderful to see that happen. And uh, I think that what is very clear for us now is to work on the enrollment, which way you want to do enrollment to guide the users, to make it very easy to get the new card into use. I think that is a, a focus area as well for the industry. We will also, as a company, focus now on driving the mass market, driving the capacity, driving the cost down. There is so much that we can innovate in this space. We have only got that started. There is so much innovation to do. It is just puts a smile on the face of people in this company because we are only going to start now and we are finally out with these cards and there is so much, so much more to be done. Fantastic journey. I look forward to this one. We want to and we will be and we are the number one in biometrics. It's been wonderful talking to you and I look forward to seeing you, investors, customers on the world. Take care.
stay safe. See you later. Thank you and bye.